now that we understand that we can use our web development skills for designing mobile applications, let's understand the role of Ionic Framework. What does Ionic Framework bring to the game? How can we make use of Ionic Framework for designing mobile applications? We can talk about before Ionic and after Ionic. Before Ionic, people were already designing mobile applications using the frameworks and tools that were already in existence. People were using HTML5 tools like Bootstrap and jQuery Mobile, which was a derivative of jQuery. These were designed to target mobile website development. And people also leveraged them for doing hybrid mobile applications. We also had other uh, tools and frameworks like the Sencha Touch and many others. But the time was not ripe yet because performance issues were dogging all these approaches. First and foremost, the platform itself was not fast enough to be able to handle the HTML5 and um, uh, JavaScript based design of the user interfaces. And so this led to a not so great user experience. And many of these apps were clutched together just to deliver whatever can be done with the existing tools. When AngularJS came forth, it revolutionized the way web applications were developed and how web applications could be organized and implemented in a structured modular fashion. Of course, along with AngularJS, there were many other such frameworks that came into being. But in this course, we are particularly interested in AngularJS. So Ionic seemed like a natural progression for us to consider when we want to target mobile devices. What exactly does Ionic bring to the game? Ionic is an HTML5 based software development kit that enables you to design mobile applications with native look and feel, with the stress on the words native look and feel. It mainly focuses on the front end development. So you could, in some sense, even the Ionic framework designers claim that it is like bootstrap for mobile, if you want to view it that way. And it uses AngularJS as the framework for its JavaScript part. So with the Ionic CSS libraries, together with AngularJS powering the framework, you have a winner there. Ionic has grown leaps and bounds over the past year and a half of its existence. So when we talk about hybrid mobile development, let's start from what we already have. If you are doing pure native development, then obviously you are targeting individual platforms, whether it is iOS, Android, Windows Phone, or BlackBerry, or any other platform. So you have complete access to the platform. But we already saw in the previous lecture the some of the difficulties of using the native platform, especially cross-platform development. So people decided to build wrappers around this. So that is where Cordova came into existence. So Cordova built wrappers around the native capabilities and then exposed a JavaScript API for the web applications to make use of. So Cordova essentially talks to the native platform. So you have plugins that are designed for the various native platforms. So Cordova takes care of all the problem and then exports a JavaScript API on, on top. Now, 
Once you have a JavaScript API in place, then you can easily develop a web application that targets the JavaScript API and still gets access to the native capabilities of the device. We're going to examine Cordova in more detail later. Let's first talk about the Ionic framework and where it fits in this whole picture. So Ionic framework is based around HTML, CSS, and JavaScript capabilities. And it makes use of AngularJS, as I said. So this is the front-end platform. So Ionic makes use of Cordova to reach out to the native platform. So in some sense, Cordova acts as a wrapper around Ionic. Although Ionic can also be used with PhoneGap and Trigger.io, but Cordova is the mainstay for most Ionic applications. So now we understand clearly the position of Ionic in the bigger picture of things. Of course, you have native, then you have Cordova, which wraps the native and then exports the JavaScript API, and then you have Ionic, which is the front-end framework that exploits the JavaScript API in order to reach out to the native platform. So as a Ionic app designer, you have full access to the native platform through the Cordova plugins using JavaScript. So that puts Ionic in the bigger scheme of things that we look at for hybrid mobile app development. So what does Ionic bring to the table? It is a mobile optimized HTML5 and CSS based UI framework and brings UI elements to you. These UI elements are packaged as Angular directives. So when you look at Ionic, you would notice that many of these Ionic components are expressed as Angular directives. So these are custom Angular directives. So Ionic builders wrote a bunch of custom directives that enable you to do a lot of features that are mobile friendly. And that's what we are going to leverage in order to design our mobile application. Not only that, with the use of the CSS and um, Angular, Ionic was able to design the user interface elements so that they are native focused. So they have a very native look and feel. So you can target both iOS and Android. And when you finally deploy your application, it looks like a native application. So to the end user, it they can't make out the difference between your Ionic application and a native application developed using fully native components. Again, that's a bit of a stretch, but in most cases, it's very hard to distinguish between the two. Ionic's CSS is all built around SAS. So if you know SAS, you can customize Ionic's CSS to match your own needs. How do we make use of Ionic? Ionic is built as a Node.js module. So you use npm to install Ionic. So you do npm install Ionic Cordova minus G with a sudo if you're using OS X and Linux. That installs the Ionic platform for you. Once you have the Ionic platform installed, Ionic provides you with a scaffolding mechanism to scaffold out a starter application. To scaffold out a, an Ionic application, you simply say Ionic start and give your application's name, and then you choose a starter template. So there are starter templates like blank, tabs, and side menu. We're gonna make use of the side menu uh, template in order to build our Confusion app in the exercises next. Then once you scaffold out your application, then you add the platforms on which you want to be able to build your Ionic application. So you can add iOS and Android, and then that will add in the additional functionality so that when your app is com finally configured and then deployed, you can deploy it to create a native Android app and a native iOS app. We will learn about that parts of Ionic how you will build out a, a native application out of the Ionic uh, code that you write in 
one of the later modules. We'll first examine Ionic's own CSS and JavaScript part and understand the Ionic directives. So now that we have a good overview of the Ionic framework, let's move on to the first exercise where we will install the Ionic framework and then we'll scaffold out our first Ionic application. Subsequently, we'll modify this application into the Confusion app that we have worked on in the previous courses.